so today we're just doing some maintenance around the yard. You guys can see the trailer behind me. It needed to get some of the tires switched out, so we've been working on that. We're trying to get some stuff wrapped up before the rain comes over here. Uh, I didn't think there was any rain in the forecast today, but today we're gonna be kind of doing something a little bit different than we normally do. The folks over at KZ, they sent us an engine scanner. Um, it's one of the heavy duty ones. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So we are going to be running some diagnostics on this Freightliner right here. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up and I'll show you guys what it comes with and then we'll go ahead and do some tests. So as you guys open it up, you guys can see you got the scanner. It's got a typical OBD2 plug right here. Um, and then from there, it has an adapter that goes to either the six pin or the nine pin plug. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. This truck has the nine pin plug right here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. We'll turn the truck on and then we'll start doing some tests with it. All right, got that plugged in. We'll go ahead and take the nine plug, bring it over here. It does have a little key slot right here and the male side has another little slot right here. So you just gotta go ahead and line those up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the key. There we go, sunk right up. So it shows two VIN numbers. It's got the one through nine and the 10 through 17. Tells you the total vehicle miles. This one's just about got 300,000. All right, so now it's running. It's showing a couple more things. You got the RPM right there. All right, well now we're gonna hit diagnostics and that might take just a minute because it's gotta pull all the info from the ECM, which codes have thrown and things like that. So once that comes up, I'll show you guys that. All right, well this thing brought up 19 different codes. So this truck, it's, uh, it's sitting here for a reason. It needs some TLC, that's why they pulled it up here. They're gonna start going through because this truck's gonna start going out more and more. So after you run the diagnostics, you guys are gonna select the first one right here, engine, hit okay. Then it's gonna wait for vehicle to respond. All right, so from here you can read ECU information, read fault codes, erase fault codes, but we're gonna go ahead and go down to live data. So it's gonna show you guys a couple different things, throttle position, road speed. Obviously we're not actually driving right now. Oil pressure, your engine coolant temperature, your battery potential, voltage 14 volts, which is like right where you want it to be. Shows you your exhaust gas temperature, 180, that's not bad engine oil shows you guys a lot of stuff shows the rpms total miles on the truck engine hours and total fuel used in liters so i'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to live data again so this time it's going to bring up brake information so it'll show you a bunch of the abs controls road speed obviously we're not moving all right, well, I'm gonna put this through this video. Huge thanks to KZ for reaching out, for letting me showcase and demo one of their scanners. You guys, you can never have enough tools, especially tools that are helpful. So engine scanners on these guys are a huge help because there's so much going on with these newer trucks. And so anything that you can do to help pinpoint the problems, it's always a huge help. And if you guys are interested in picking up one of these KZ heavy duty code readers, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down in the description below. You guys can go ahead and click on it and check them out. All right, so I hope this helped somebody. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I appreciate you guys for taking time to watch, and we will see you guys next time.